Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Hypixel API coding a Java plugin for Minecraft server. Um, it's not like I'm playing a game or anything or teaching you how to use a mod, but I know I had a lot of trouble trying to figure this out. Uh, nobody could really help me. There wasn't any videos or tutorials that I could really follow along, so hopefully this will help you out. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. Uh, we're going to make a Maven project. Press next. We can just call this Hypixel. Hypixel tutorial and next. So this is Hypixel tutorial. So we're just going to open our project navigation. And uh, right now we don't really have anything, but we're going to create all of our packages and files and stuff inside of the Java. We'll make a Java class. This will be our main. You just name it Hypixel. So now there's actually something in there. And then we'll make a um, package. We can just name it me.bluesnapple. We are going to add a package named commands because we'll make a little command in a minute. And we can make the command named test. First, uh, we are going to need to make our plugin YML. So we can just add a file, plugin.yml. So we're going to start off by the name, name it Hypixel, uh, our main. So our main class is going to be me dot blue snapple dot hypixel author will be blue snapple version will be uh, we can just make it 1.0 description spell it right first description it's going to be hypixel test plugin so commands first uh, it's going to be called test and usage is going to be slash test description can be it's just a test if we want an alias uh, we could make one we could just name it t so we can do slash t instead of test if we wanted to and that's pretty much it for our plugin.yml should be all good now right now um we couldn't do extends uh, java plugin you know it doesn't have uh, auto completion for that because we need to add that to our palm right now our palm doesn't really have um anything in it we need to add all the different things. So let's go ahead. First thing we'll add is we have quite a few dependencies to add. So let's go ahead and add our dependencies. So first dependency that we're going to add is the guava. So com.google.guava. It's just going to be guava. Our version, we're going to be using uh, 18. Our next dependency is going to be JSON. So dependency, so com.google.co.json. This is going to be JSON. Our version is going to be 2.3. Our next dependency is going to be HTTP components. So HTTP components org Apache HTTP client version 4.4. Our next dependency will be Joda time. So Joda time, just like that. And then Joda time 2.8.1. And then of course we have to add the Hypixel API dependency. So it's just going to be net.hypixel, and then our artifact ID will be Java, and our version is going to be 1.0 uh, snapshot in all caps. And I know it's in red, I'm not exactly sure why it's like that, but it still works, that's just how it needs to be. Our last dependency is going to be with spigot, so we'll do org.spigotmc, and then we'll just do spigot api version 1.8, just like that. And for the spigot, we're actually going to make the scope provided, and we'll make a repo up here. Repositories, repository. So the ID will just be spigot repo, the URL. We're just going to copy and paste the URL. Now, one other really important thing is to uh, make your build. So we have a few plugins we're adding in. So we need to do plugins. Plugin uh, group ID of org dot Apache dot Maven plugins artifact ID is going to be Maven Piler plugin. We're going to be using version 3.5.1. Our configuration is going to be um, our, we're going to have a target and it's going to be 1.8. Our source will be 1.8 as well. Now we need to add the next plugin, which will be the shade plugin. So that's actually what puts all of our dependencies together so that we can actually run it and get classes from inside that jar. Otherwise, um, we don't have all these dependencies uh, running on the server. We have only the spigot 
um, API running on the server. So well, that's why we need the shade plugin to kind of do some work for us. So we'll have a group ID. So org patchy.maven plugin, artifact ID, maven, shade plugin, version 2.4.3. Cool. And that's pretty much it. A lot of different things in our palm file, but that's okay. So right now you know the test, it doesn't recognize Java plugin. It still probably won't recognize Java plugin, yeah. But if we go to our Maven and we download sources implementation, um, most importantly, if we import it, then we can go here, Java plugin, and it'll actually load it. So we just click that one. It's one we wanted, and you should be good. Another really important thing to do is we need to add um, a configuration for exporting our project. So we'll just add a new one. It's going to be a Maven, and it's just going to be clean package, shade, shade, just like that. And apply. We can actually name this build, and so now it's named build, and we can just press play. So now that we've done that, uh, we can actually start making the plugin part of this whole thing. We have the whole setup um, just like we need it. And we're just going to start by making R on enable and R on disable. Public void on disable. All right, cool. So we're just going to get logger.info. And inside here, we're just going to put get description plus was enabled. Also make sure to get name. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Get logger.info get description dot get name plus was disabled. We are going to make a command. So we already have our test. It looks like we are accidentally made our test file our main plugin. So we need to just take our at overrides. Um, we can just copy and paste it into our Hypixel. So we just need to extend our Java plugin. Copy and paste that in there and it'll be just fine. Now test, we can just delete that for now. We are going to be implementing command executor. Now it's in red, we just need to implement methods. Before we really make anything with this, we have to make a few classes and we can make a new package first. All right, so we'll make a new package and we'll name it meetupbluesnapple.api. So we're just gonna make two classes in here. We're gonna make a util class and we're also going to make a Java class for um, getting player information. So get, we'll just name it get player for now. And so the information we're gonna need for this is we're going to go to um, the API website that has the information. So there's some examples that we'll look at. So we'll just go to api.hypixel.net, really simple. Go to the repo, and we're just gonna run and look at the examples. So we'll click on the util that I just was talking about. So example util. Um, we don't actually need the await or um, anything like that. What we need is the API key. Copy and paste that from our util. All right, and we'll just need to import UUID. All right, get player. So we're gonna do, we're gonna have to copy and paste their example player as well. So if we go back to examples, go to get player example, then we can just kind of copy the static method they have here and then we can paste it in here. So there's a few things we're going to have to change and we don't need this. This method was in the util that we were going to copy and paste, but we don't need it. So we're just going to delete it. We also don't need the system.exit. Now, um, to clear this up, we will be using the util, but it's gonna be util until um, dot API key, so that'll work. Hypixel API, should clear up those. Request, so we're gonna import the one from um, net.hypixel, request builder, net.hypixel, quest type. So just make sure you're importing the right thing. Trying to figure out the request parameter. Quest parameter is player by ID, so we just need to put a UUID here, and we can just do UUID dot from string, and then uh, inside here we can put the UUID, and we'll, we'll get one from NameMC in just a second, but callback player reply, just net net.hypixel all back we would put net.hypixel all right and so now it's not red anymore and everything's imported we can go ahead and find the string that we were wanting so what we're going to do is we'll go to name mc and we'll go ahead and we can search somebody real quick i guess so let's go here we don't need this anymore just go to namemc.com 
search Zomer Ice. Uh, she is a Hypixel helper. We can just copy her UUID, put the UUID here, and there you go. So this will get information about uh, Zomer Ice, and it'll return, well, it'll either return this fail cause, or it'll, if it was good and it didn't have an error, then it'll return the result that we we're wanting to get. So that's pretty much it for um, kind of making this work. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this too, because we're not going to be needing an input right now. We probably will in a little bit, but what we're going to do is we're going to change a few things in this class. Um, I just like to make it like this, so CMD, and well, that's really the only thing that I changed, but we're going to do in this class, we're going to, well, first we're going to make this true, and then we're going to do get player dot main, and then it'll, whenever we do this command uh, slash test, which we need to actually set up, and we can do that by going to our main class, and we can it command the command name is test we need to put it in the string test dot set executor and then we'll just do new uh, test and then it should be good and it'll actually recognize that class enable it on the enable if that makes sense and that's pretty much it um, as far as just getting this to kind of work together we can kind of press play all right so it's finished we can go ahead and find our plugin folder for the server that we're going to start up and the locates in your target folder which is in your project folder so we can just make a new finder window go into documents go into IntelliJ go into Hypixel tutorial and then our target it will have um, our Hypixel tutorial snapshot and so you're going to want to make sure you're using the Hypixel tutorial snapshot and not the original Hypixel tutorial because that one's without our dependencies shaded so if you get info you can see it's only five kilobytes this one is a lot more it's uh, 4.5 megabytes so, you know, it does downside to the shading it does put a lot in the file but it's still okay it, it'll, it'll be fine but what you're going to do is go into uh, your plugins folder you just put this in here uh, if you want to it doesn't really matter what you name it you can just name it hypixel and we can go into um, our launch and just launch it we'll also want to open minecraft so it looks like Hypixel, um, the, the main, it was me.bluesnapple.hypixel. Apparently it didn't like that, so you just need to change this to Hypixel, you know, according to whatever your project looks like. Um, that's what it's going to work like for this current project, and you know, you'll just run it and it, it'll work just fine. Now we're going to go ahead and join our little testing server. Okay, so um, if we do slash test, it's not going to say anything, but um, in our command, it has, oh yeah, we also have to uh, put an API key. So to do that, we need to go out of here and go to Hypixel, and then we can just do slash API, uh, API new. We can get our API key, so we can copy and paste that, and we can get out of there. Now, what we're going to do is, this is in the util that we're going to have to edit, and instead of this right here, UUID, this is um, our actual API key. The other API key was what was in the example, and the example one is an invalid uh, API key. But um, you can use your own API key, obviously. And this is just mine. I'm, I'm going to change it, so don't bother trying to use mine. So we'll just build this. Now, once we've done that, we just go and we'll take, we can just throw this uh, in the trash, and we can put our one from the target just copy it paste it here and we can reload so just reload that all right and if we go back into the server and we do slash test this time it'll actually do something so you see this really big let me just make this i guess a little bigger but it'll have this really big json file and you probably have no idea what all this is saying so this is all of zomer ice's player data that we kind of got um You'll just have to play around with this and see what kind of data you might want to get from the player. Uh, like, I've made a specific plugin for this that gets the player's rank. It gets, if they're an MVP, it gets their plus, gets their color, etc. So whenever they join uh, the server that I made, then they will have the API. Uh, or they'll have their um, Hypixel rank whenever they join. It also has to do with our guild, so I made a guild plugin, that's what that's for. So when we have private guild events and stuff, we can all join uh, our server and have cool guild events with our, our ranks from Hypixel and everything. But, okay, let's just say, you know, to be really simple, that we just wanted her display name. So, um, display name is the field 
that we would want her right now, her display name, is Zomer Ice. By the way, Zomer Ice stands for Summer Ice Cream in German, if you didn't know. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to copy display name. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to implement this into the plugin. So, instead of outputting this to the system... Okay, so it's really simple to get this data. All you got to do is do result.get player dot get and so this will get a string from the JSON. Um, we copied and pasted display name so that's what we want. So this right here is just getting the string display name so whatever person's name is in this case it's Zomer Ice but we'll go ahead and make this easy so we'll just do player dot get or dot send message and paste that there now they don't know what player is so we'll make a field here player player um dot send oh yeah i need to import this so player send message and that should work so whoever types this command it'll send the specific um player's display name. I mean, you can do it, all kinds of other things with it, but I'm just trying to get the basics down for you just so you can kind of see how this works. And also, we need to put um, this right here. It probably needs to recognize it as a string, so you can just add um, an empty string there and it'll it'll do it for you. And we can press play. Of course, we need to actually add the um, player whenever we're doing the test command, so we forgot about that. We need to just add um, sender. So let's do this, actually. So if sender is instance of player, we can do this. But what we're going to do, we'll just go ahead and make um, a player. So player, player equals sender. And we'll just cast sender to player. And then we can put player here. And that should be fine. We'll just play it. All right, cool. Then we'll go ahead and go to our... Uh, target, we'll copy and we'll paste that, we'll just replace it, and then here we can, uh, we can reload, go back here, so now if we do slash test, it sends the name in quotes, so Zomer Ice, so that's really all that we needed to do here, um, you can see plugin, uh, it's high pixel plugin, and if we do version Hypixel, you can see that it's Hypixel test plugin. The author um, is Blue Snapple, version 1.0, whatever. But that's just the real basics of how to make this all work together. Um, if you have any questions, ask me. I may or may not be able to answer them. And if you like it, it helps you out. Well, you can just give me a like.